All right, so now that we are finished sewing all the way around our stress monster, uh, I have chosen the um, blanket stitch, but you can choose an overcast stitch or the back stitch. And remember this um, piece of embroidery thread has to be really long so that you can prevent uh, having to knot it each time you, you um, run out of thread. So I will show that how long you need it in another video at the end of this project. But now that I have come to the points that I have open right here, I am just going to stop my stitch and I'm gonna put my, actually I'm gonna put my needle and thread just to the side. So now I'm ready to stuff. So you're gonna use the fiber fill that you were given. So I'm just going to start to stuff and you can make this as full as you want it to be. So you're getting it all the way down into the inside. And this one has some arms, so I'm sticking it into the arms. So the other thing you can do, you can use a pencil or a pen um, with just to push everything, push that fiber fill into the spaces to get it nice and full. All right, so now that I have the Stress Monster um, stuff to where I want it to be, and like I said, you can make it as full or not as full as you want, I am going to pin this closed. It's gonna help me uh, be able to stitch it closed. So I'm just gonna do it maybe three quarters of an inch down. So I have a nice flat edge to work with. So like I said, I am using um, the blanket stitch. So now I'm going to go ahead and finish closing this up. So it's just gonna take a few stitches. And then when I'm finished with it, um, I can take my pins out and then I will show you how to finish uh, knotting it so it doesn't come out. So remember the, the blanket stitch, I'm coming in from the back and I have this loop and I'm putting my needle into the loop. And the more practice you have with your hand stitches, the faster and the better you're more consistent you're going to get with them. And on um, projects um, like this, we like to use uh, embroidery thread. It's just thicker. And for this one, I am using four strands of the embroidery thread. And I really like how that is looking. And I also um, made it contrasting, but that's up to you. You can make it contrasting or you can use the same color as your fabric. Okay, I am almost to the end. So now I'm gonna show you how to knot it. Okay, so now I have to go inside of my two layers and I'm gonna bring that to the back, but I wanna hide this. I don't want to see that knot on the outside. So I'm gonna bring it back a couple of times and I'm just gonna bring it through those two layers, maybe about three times, and then I will be able to knot it. So now I'm making a loop and I'm knotting it once and I'm gonna bring it through those two layers again. So you can't see it. And I'm gonna knot it again. And then now I have two really solid knots in there and I can bring it through again. 
and I bring in it through um, the other layer. And now I can just clip off that extra and then it won't come out because I have several knots throughout. All right, so now we are finished with our stress monster. So whenever you get stressed or you need something to squish on, you can look at your stress monster and use that for your stress.